In this video, we'll describe how to limit the number and size of logs created by the control agent. In those loaded environments where, after enable the debug for any troubleshooting purpose, the control agent creates a lot of big files and might be required to limit the number of log versions in addition of its size to prevent any file system full if we are limited in this space. In addition, and also for troubleshooting purposes, it would be required to expand or increase the logs versions and the size to prevent this being overwritten and lose the debug we are collecting to. Here we have an extract of the Control M administration manual where we can find two parameters that affect the subject we are discussing in this video. From one side, limit underscore log underscore file underscore size defines the maximum size our Control M agent logs will create in the proclock directory. By default, its value is 10 megahertz. Limit underscore log underscore versions define how many versions of our log file will be created in the proclock directory of our agent. And by default, its value is 10 versions. These system parameters are embedded in the product. Should we want to override its value, we'll need to add these system parameters within the control agent configuration. In this case, let's check how to do it in a control agent based in a Unix machine. In this environment, the configuration of the agent is kept in the file config.dat located in the data directory of our control agent. To increase or decrease the number of side versions of our logs, simply we need to add both variables to the end of our file. In this case, we are going to limit the size to 5 megahertz and only 5 versions. Like the manual state is required to restart the agent to take effect this change. If our environment is based in a Windows machine, the procedure is quite similar, except this configuration is kept in the Windows registry. We will need to add both variables there. First, we need to move to following path of the registry. And here we add the new string variables with our uh, parameters and the value desired. In this case, we are setting again a value of 5. As said before, uh, we need to restart the control agent to take effect this change. That concludes this control M solution video. Please see our knowledge base and YouTube channel for more videos like this. Thank you.